thank you again for joining me on this YouTube channel and uh, this, this segment we continue to build on as Elsie is sharing with us her story and today we talk about the mother bond experience and uh, usually when we bond rightly with our mothers we grow up feeling competent if that is not happening then we struggle with feelings of incompetence so stay tuned as Elsie continues to tell us to tell us her story. Thank you. Uh, as psychologists, we say that a mother is the first object for a child to bond with. And I say an object because when a child is born, we say that they are born as tabula rasa, an empty plate, so to say. So the experiences that happen once a child is bo born and starts bonding, they bond with objects not really human beings because to them they don't know what that is so for me i would say my first relationship with my mother i cannot say that i really know it because the first year mostly children don't really understand what is happening and within my first year in this uh, life my mom got pregnant with my sibling the one who follows me so I think she couldn't balance between taking care of a pregnancy and a young girl. And that is how I landed in my father's arms. So the first person that I can say I really bonded with was my father. And uh, having now missed that bonding part with my mother really brought so many unconscious conflicts because I think I learned at a very early age to fight my own battles, so to say, because I felt like uh, I needed my space. And you know now that emptiness of that motherly bond, it is unconscious, so I, I could really fight looking for that bonding, which I didn't get at the time that psychologically it, it is said to be healthy. So uh, when I grew up, the person that I am, one thing I know about myself is that I'm too fast in what I do. And I am one person who practices what I think. So I think as I do. So you can imagine as a child, as you do your thing, you are, you are doing things uh, contrary to the plans of my mother. So she could pack things. I feel like I need to know more about this thing. I go pick it destroy as I do my thing and no one could understand why I was like that and she really used to beat me uh, other than missing that bond and now these beatings that are coming I at some point I felt like it's like my mother hates me but when I now came to psychology class I realized even her she didn't know because also as a mother when a child is doing their thing and you feel like they are distorting your plans you have questions but i have come to realize that as i did what i was doing i was leaving the me that i am which has been built on so many things that have happened one being the bond that i missed one being that i grew up in the arms of a man who was so so loving in fact even in his death he's still my confident so to say but again it is not that I I share the things that I feel in fact most of the times I remember my dad when I'm so happy because he was my first person to share my joys with and uh, it reached a point where my mom could call me especially when my dad got sick at some point he refused to take food and my mom used to tell me come talk to your son because uh, in our tradition I am named after his grandmother who kind of is a, is a mother to him. And uh, my mom felt like I, my dad could listen more to me than her. But uh, I think she also got to a point of now flowing with, with the story because uh, almost everyone in the home felt and believes even today, that I was closer to my dad than my mom. And even when my, my dad died, the transition with me getting to my mother, it's, 
it's been a journey. I cannot say we are there, but I'm still working on it from a point of awareness, having known the, the psychological underlying issues. Because anything that happens within a family depends a lot on so many things that happen within the family, especially the dynamics, the interactions, how the system operates. And uh, as we move along, we will still continue building on the experiences within the family that make us who we are. Thank you so much.